You're live. We are live. Hello, beautiful people. Will Porter here, and we are in <laughs> Crown Heights Cafe in Crown Heights. Yeah. Um, come and visit this spot, yo. A really friendly environment, a social environment. You come bring your laptop, get you a nice coffee, latte, whatever suits your needs. Uh, so, for the time that I have you here, We'll be talking about this agitprop painting. You'll hear that word a lot talking with me. Uh, it means agitation and propaganda. And so the title of this painting is called Kill Bill. And this painting, along with uh, some other agitprop paintings that I've done, my goal is to personify a problem that may not even necessarily have a physical form, uh, but more so, like a construct. I like to personify white constructs so that I can dehumanize them. So in this painting, I have personified the dollar bill, uh, George Washington on the dollar bill, because certainly struggles and power struggles with money is something that everybody has to struggle with. Whether um, you're working for money or whether you're a child and your parents don't make money and you don't eat because of that. And so I like to find things that are pretty common thread as an issue for a lot of people. Just so, like I said, I can humanize it and then embarrass it. Um, as an attempt to bring some power back to the people who are disenfranchised and don't have this sense of power. So what I've done is I've put this personified dollar bill as the beginning or the catalyst of this painting and he's wielding some whips and i placed this gradation of figures that are moving across this canvas in the way that i have because i wanted it to resemble uh, darwin's theory of evolution uh, as far as like the the monkey to man um theory and uh in no way am i attempting to say that these people are monkeys uh, though i wanted to show that same gradation to suggest an evolution uh, based off one, enslavement, and then uh, the notion of being enslaved by money. Um, and so I certainly believe that whether it's overt or covert, there are a lot of people who are enslaved to money. You know, everybody gets up and goes to work. Everybody is impacted by either an, uh, a great amount of wealth or a lack of wealth. And so I have that as the catalyst. There are some children in the first two spaces here. They're both shackled at their feet, um, both moving in this linear direction to the right side of the canvas. And I painted some bars over top of these first two figures. And this was actually done back in 2018. So ironically enough, before there was this knowledge of children being encaged at the border, being uh, held uh, from their parents and things of that nature. Um, so it is a bit ironic that this painting preceded that by a year or so. Uh, that was still relevant. Um, and so I put bars there to symbolize how much more susceptible either child or children or just like a feeble mind uh, are, are more susceptible to being um, greater prisoners to, to money and the constructs of money. And so as they're moving across the painting, there's a woman here, she's shackled to them as well. As it continues to progress, there's a figure here who's breaking some of these chains and those chains can be represented both physically and emotionally or psychologically, if you will. And as it continues, this young man here, you know, he's throwing up the fist showing some empowerment, uh, which is definitely necessary, though in my opinion that can't be the stopping point um, of, you know, of course, moving away from whatever your catalyst or the problem is, and then getting to a, a place of self-pride, which is great and commendable. Uh, though uh, I've experienced that it takes a realization and then a turning back to, uh, toward whatever, 
your problem is so that yourself and those who are also impacted by the problem can aim at it and can target it to uh, ultimately defeat it. And so I placed myself or the, the canvas killer at the end here and he is aiming a paintbrush. He's weaponized a paintbrush, which I do with my art, at Bill, uh, who, like I said, is whipping um, and is suggested to have whipped everybody who's along this line. And so he's aiming back, um, being controlled by my hands in the painting, uh, player one and player two. And I have uh, this pistol here, which is actually uh, a head nod to Andy Warhol. Um, there's a painting he did, I think it may be called The Gun, right, where um, a similar pistol was used. And so definitely wanted to stay within the idea that art can be used as a tool or as a weapon in order to bring some attention, in order to agitate, bring some things up. And so that is the general synopsis of everything that's happening from this character uh, back to the beginning. And then everything on this back end is like my hater's corner, right? Where uh, as I've studied different revolts and rebellions throughout history, there is always some hating motherfucker who, uh, who fucks it up, you know, who because of the discomfort or the, the unknown territory that rebelling and demanding freedom can put you into a place of uncertainty, uh, I can only assume that that frightens people who have attach themselves to some level of normalcy and, and comfortability in being enslaved by something and would rather not see that happen. And so uh, in the midst of people, you know, who do the work to turn back to whatever the issue is and to put a stop to it, there is uh, pushback. There is people who attempt to poke holes and deflate movements. And so, yeah, this is my interpretation of uh, a comical one, if you will, where there are some serious elements, um, and I certainly, as an artist, who um, who understands how heavy that certain topics can be, would love to include uh, some comedic uh, nuance so that these things are unbearable to think about. Um, and so, yeah, y'all, yeah, uh, thank y'all for listening. Uh, if y'all got like any questions outside of what it is that I've just explained, uh, definitely don't hesitate to comment um, and chime in on what you may be seeing that I didn't touch on, because it might be there, I might just didn't talk about it. Um, so yeah, y'all, this is Kill Bill. Uh, again, it's an agitprop painting. Uh, you know, study people like Kerry James Marshall, uh, Emily Douglas, uh, Frida Kahlo even, Pablo Picasso at some point, uh, Jean-Michel Basquiat, and myself, Will Porter. Uh, if you want to see more political pieces that target social and political issues. Uh, so yeah, yo, thank you for tuning in. Again, we in Crown Heights Cafe, and much love.